Hey, yo, Trace here. Thank you so very, thank you so very much for joining me again for another session of Choice Spirit. Hey, I want to take a moment and talk about frequency. Frequency, what is it? We talk about keep your vibe up high, keep your frequency up high. You know, a lot of people looking at that, they don't know what that is. Um, they have an idea, but an idea kind of like doesn't give you a clear feeling. You know, I talk about frequency being in different mental states, being in different mindsets, having certain and certain attitude. So a low vibrational frequency might be that in a place of despair, helplessness, unworthiness, um, guilt, shame, all natures, all natures of fear, a low vibrational state. A, a more higher vibrational frequency might be that of belief, of a little up more from hope. Whatever that sensation is and however we label that sensation then becomes the frequency of that sensation. Okay? So what someone, what one might feel is a feeling un, of unworthiness, of uh, the feeling of guilt, the feeling of shame, and all of these vary in various frequencies as well as the level of hope, a level of belief, a level of this. This is on a higher frequency, but it, it's still a little various uh, ranges in the frequency. And as we go up, the feeling of love, of, of unconditional type love and uh, other types of feelings of bliss, of joy, of happiness, of, of the nature of beauty and all of these things, these are of a higher frequency. So we've talked about this before, but the reason I bring it up is because there's a lot of things that are going on around us that causes us to sink into a depressed state, an, an anxious state. A, a, a fear-based state of mind. Uh, and fear usually has something to do with our attitudes being kind of nasty, not so, not so right, you know. I'm not going to say right or wrong, but in a low vibrational state, fear contributes to that because it usually when we're feeling fearful about something, it shows up in many different ways, many different, it's a, expressed in many different ways. So, frequency. When you are in a situation, in an environment where there is a certain energy of, of the, let me just clarify freq frequency. Frequency is, think of something like matter, something like a thought or a tangible item, like uh, sand, sand. And if you play a certain tune to that sand, that sand will vibrate into a shape or a form. Just like a snowflake, a, a drop of water coming into a, an area that is frost that then causes it to crystallize. Depending on the frequency of that environment, it will crystallize into a certain shape. And that's with anything. It will crystallize into a certain shape. So the frequency that causes that thing or, or whatever it is to crystallize, the vibration is one thing, but the frequency is caused is what causes it to form the frequency is what causes it to form a shape. A shape. So think in terms of a frequency being something that can form something. And think in terms of a vibration of something just moving, just vibrating. And then once a sound comes into that vibration, that vibration then begins to form something. So this is why I talk about frequency, keeping your vibe on high in a higher state of frequency. Of course, there's going to be moments 
where you come in and out of that. That's normal. It's natural. But you do have a default. You do have a habitual way of thinking, a habitual way of speaking, a habitual way of moving, a habitual uh, of perceiving things. And that habitual way is a frequency. It's a frequency. So if someone's walking around and their natural way is to be happy and joyful, and this is where they normally vibe in a happy and joyful state, that would be their, the frequency of their vibe would be high. It would be high because that's where they are normally, you know, most often, not always, but most often. And so the reason it's important to, to recognize how you are vibing, it's important to, to set your intention to make a decision how you are going to be. And and stay on it with ease and love and self-care because if you don't make a decision for yourself others will make a decision for you as to who you will be and how you will be even if you do not realize that they are pulling the string because you will automatically sink into the frequency of of whatever they have going on or whatever narrative is going on. <laughs> it could be some negative or some undesirable stuff that injects that, that frequency begins to play around you and then you become one with that frequency because you have not set your own tone. You have not tuned yourself into the frequency uh, what what tunes you're going to play and how you're going to dance that day. So you end up being, uh, are, are you end up being swayed to someone else's tune. So remember, you have an innate, a natural frequency. You have a conscious decision as to how you will be, regardless to what's going on around you. You will direct your energy and keep your energy in a place of your choosing. That means I don't care what stories people are talking about, what narratives are going on around you. If it's not of interest to you, if it's not something you desire to have a part as a part of your world, then as a suggestion, you might want to consider dancing to your own tune, dancing to your own rhythm. Everything is about rhythm and where your energy goes, where your energy flows is the rhythm you will become, you are becoming. So about frequency, whether it's high or low or just looping, you decide, you are mindful of where and what and how you will be or are in any given situation. If it's not resonating with you, don't entertain it. If it does not resonate with you, your senses will pick it up immediately. But your senses will become dull, numb to it if you stay there too long. You will become one with that frequency. Doesn't resonate. The frequency is not your desire. If that's not it, turn your head, people. <laughs> Thank you.
Much love. Namaste. Thank you so much for your mind time. Thanks for joining me again for another session of Choice Spirit. Thank you.